This is the case of endometriosis of the uterine cervix. On the surface, we see ectocervical, non-keratinized, stratified squamous epithelium. And here we have the focus of uh, endometriosis composed of endometrial glands, endometrial stroma, and uh, bleeding in the adjacent tissues. In order to diagnose uh, endometriosis um, morphologically, we should always see all three components. So uh, these glands are lined by columnar epithelium with a mild pseudostratification, which is a typical appearance of endometrial epithelium. Uh, around the glands there, uh, there is endometrial stroma, which is slightly denser, and it, it is composed of spindle-shaped cells which are uh, closely packed, and uh, here we also see lymphocytic infiltration. If we want to make sure that this is endometrial stroma, we can use immunohistochemistry, and these cells would be positive for CD10. Here we have the multiple erythrocytes in the stroma, which is a sign of bleeding, and sometimes we can see an older bleeding uh, where we uh, find a lot of hemosiderin laden macrophages or siderophages. Endometriosis can be found in multiple tissues and multiple organs. So this is an example of endometriosis of the cervix. Thanks for watching.